Hello everyone, it's Bubbles from Venom Fluid Art. Thank you for joining us on another amazing adventure on our Fluid Art Express with our amazing Fluid Art family and all they've got to offer. Hope you just watched Shambi. How amazing is she? I just love her work. Absolute talent. So today, I was thinking, last time I did my Splat Splat Bloom with a colour palette very similar to what I'm going to use now, I did it on a black base. And I thought, you know what, I just want to see how she's going to turn out with a white base. So the only thing I've changed from last time, last time I used my, um, I think it was the Inferno and the Mosh that I've got here and the Grenache. But this time I've actually added a Pebio Red Violet and I've added a Mink by the Mighty Pearl X. And of course I've got my Solar Gold by Pearl X as well. So what I'm thinking is we're going to start off we're just laying some of our splats around because that's the fun part so always start with the fun part because as we know sometimes blooms can be tricky but never give up guys if you're attempting your blooms for the first time because it's just one of them things that one day after all your practicing you're going to hear someone just say something that makes sense and it clicks because that's actually what happened to me i um really struggled with these at first the bloom and it really really did my head in and it was just one day certain sentence and the way darren explained it that i went huh right now that makes sense which is pretty cool when that happens it's like that light turns on and you try it again and off you go but it is definitely and i really do think it's one of them techniques as well that you really do have to keep in practice because i know i got um carried away for quite a few months i'm just so addicted to the loaded palette knives and um hadn't really done many blooms for quite a few weeks and went back and did my first one and went oh dear <laughs> that's not good but like anything practice keeping up your craft in practice makes a big difference all right where am i going to go now i think what we're going to do is get our inferno out this little piggy it's one of my very favorites I'll definitely add this to my collection of favorites want a good amount of that because with the black ca it just dazzles really cool now i think what we need here is do I go? Yeah. Grab the Mighty Minx out. Awesome coloured Minx. And it's probably going to seem strange I'm using it in this palette because it does shift to green. But this is one of them colours that mix it with other colours and it just does really super cool things it's one of those all right and that mosh really is a beautiful color mosh sprinkle some of that around Anything with oranges I find, a little bit can go a long way, same as your golds. You don't want them to um, take over, just use it sparingly so you still get its effects, but it's not taken over the whole piece because it can be a really dominant colour. A little bit of our solar gold for some bling. But with the splat splat bloom, Remember when I first started doing these on um, one of my 
other expresses and then we had a playing student versus teacher they are just a lot of fun a lot of fun and great for beginners because if you don't put enough color puddle on and you don't get your bloom to spread out to the edges you have still got some craziness going on on the outside that you can do some cool stuff with which is pretty cool all right what do i want now because we've got that gold there i'm going to put a little bit of the tube paint over the top of that and that way i make sure the gold's going to behave itself all right a little bit of that now we want because i'm using a black ca I want to put down now this really gorgeous inferno because that with the black ca just pops together gives you some really cool effects so i actually think we've got quite a good size puddle on there so we'll just make sure if we've got any pesky bubbles that could wreck our day we're going to ditch them and now we'll check if George is awake. He usually is. There he is. I'll just unstick that paper towel from my hand. So I can actually blow out my balloon. I want a good sized puddle for this one. So we get some big crazy cells going on. Here we go. Oh, that's cool. Let's take that right to the edge there. Give them some flicks. See, they're just fun. Now, let's just have a look. A bit thick there. Alright. Now, we'll let that sink and do its thing for a minute. And let's have a play with these edges. Tie my shoelace. We'll go around the outside. A little bit more there. Just till I get around all my edges. I like a bit of character on the edge. Pop that bubble as we're going. Cool thing of playing with a skewer. Now. We'll just put some lines through our splats. Just to break them up a bit. Give them a little bit of feature. Anywhere where it's too bold. How'd I miss you? Who are you sticking your head out so bold? There we go. Alright. You know, I thought I'd go on too thick here and miss my centre. But the cells are there. That's the way the CA has re really reacted. It does that sometimes with the minks. And it's not until you spin it out that you see just how darn cool it looks. So, let's give it a bit of a run, see what it's going to do. 
And the cool thing for bubbles right now, put my canvas down first so it's in the middle of the spinner. I don't have to find it. <laughs> it's always lost with me anyway. <laughs> it's there somewhere. I just never know where. We'll spin this one right out. So it's opening up really cool with them lines. I'm digging it. It's pretty cool. Tell you what, after my big week, we had a... I went and helped my boss do a big shop refit. So, just painting, having fun. <laughs> yeah, damn, it's cool. <laughs> I'm loving it. Always, always good to come home. I don't even know if I want to touch that. Oh, yeah, maybe just a little bit there. Or just... Yeah, a little bit there. A little fine tuning there. I don't know what I like better. You'll we'll have to um, let me know if anyone's seen the black base version I did. Whether you think it's actually cooler on the white or not. I'm sort of... I'm in between what I think. I think it's always in the eye of the beholder sometimes too. We all like different things, don't we? Yeah, that's cool. I'm just getting rid of some of them where that minx plays with the black CA. It does have its place sometimes when you want to leave it alone, but I just don't want it to take over today. So, cheating with the skewer is good to go. So, after this, we'll do our final spin. There we go. And I'll be able to get my amazing cameraman to do a cool flyover reel, hopefully. But we'll wait till we spin it. Now, just check we've got no... Anything that's really taken over here. Yeah, right there. Look at that little blob. How cheeky are you? There we go. I think that's now going to be A-OK. -okay. Ready to spin out. Let's do this. Now, before I go any further, one thing Darren's always taught me is scrape those sides, especially if you have a floating pillow like I just did. I've got a thing for them lately. Depends on what you're doing, really. But I just find with these, they just give it a really nice bit of movement which I want with the splats. All right, and we'll check for any pesky bubbles, like I can see some now that are popping their head through white. How cheeky are they? So what we'll do, if you ever get any of those, especially on a canvas, I just sink her in a little bit. And that way, see the paint just all falls in because the canvas has got that movement. So you can actually pop them and fill them in. So even on a big one like this, we're not going to have any trouble because that canvas has got movement. And we can hide the pesky white dots, which is pretty cool. All right, so let's give this its final spin. Then we can see if anything is going to come off the sides or whether we are good and going to be crack free. Yep, we are pretty good, guys. So I'll get Daz to do a close-up reel of that. Hope you enjoyed it.
And just as I said that, there's two more white dots. How cheeky are they today? Tell you what, they're game. They're as game as the wombat to upset the bubbles. What? And he's as cheeky as they come, so I knew he was right there. Never. Get a bite every time. I'm an angel. So, next up after me today, guys, please come on to the next chat and join us for the Hippy Dippy Painter Man, the dynamic duo of Tony and Cat Pender. Both amazing artists, full of personality. Come join us. You won't be disappointed. So that should be my flyover reel done by now. And that is it for me this week. So I hope you enjoyed. You'll have to let me know if you did happen to see the black base, whether you liked the black base better with this colour palette or the white. It's always good to get another opinion. So until next week, take care, stay safe, and I will see you in the next one. Have a fantastic day, guys, and as always, thanks for watching. We really appreciate it.